Two places in our solar system, Mars, also known as the Red Planet and Titan, the mysterious moon of Saturn, have long fascinated humanity as unexplored territories. Mars is set to receive new robotic inhabitants. But until then, we have other explorers hard at work learning what makes the Red Planet tick. While both worlds are potentially suitable for colonization in the future, Titan stands out as a particularly intriguing option, given its unique environment. Despite its haze-covered surface, Titan is a world full of possibilities, with a combination of features that could make it an ideal candidate for human habitation. A world far different from our own, but one that may harbor life. If it does, promises to be unlike anything we've ever seen before. Join us as we embark on a journey to discover why Titan, with its otherworldly landscapes and abundant resources, could hold the key to our future beyond the bounds of space and time. Two planets stand out as potential locations for human colonization beyond Earth, Mars and Titan. While both planets are exciting prospects due to their unique characteristics, their capacity to support life is quite different. Scientists and space enthusiasts have long been fascinated by Mars, also known as the Red Planet. Some of its features, such as a solid surface, a day-night cycle, and a thin atmosphere, are similar to that of Earth. Additionally, Mars has abundant resources, including water ice beneath its surface and at its poles. Future colonists may be able to extract and utilize this resource for fuel production, cultivation, and drinking. The hell is this stuff? Mars geology and prehistoric past offer an opportunity for scientific research and investigation of any traces of previous and present microbial life. We were looking, um, scanning around in our electron microscope, looking at Allen Hills, and we were particularly looking at the carbonates. There are a lot of rumours and mutterings in corners about the possibility of something unusual having been found in this meteorite, but nobody would say for definite. Somewhat elongated features that had segments in them. The next day we found a few more of them and we really got excited. On the other hand, the environment on Titan, Saturn's largest moon, is vastly different. It is the only moon in our solar system with a dense atmosphere, thanks to the thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere that covers its surface. This environment offers protection against harmful radiation and the capacity to absorb and use nitrogen to support human habitation. Additionally, there are liquid lakes, rivers, and seas on Titan's surface, but they are made up of methane and ethane rather than water. These hydrocarbons offer a rare chance to study other life forms that may have evolved to survive in such conditions. Mars benefits from its proximity to the Sun in terms of energy resources. It could be used to maintain life support systems and power colonies. Titan, despite being far from the Sun, could still use solar energy due to its dense atmosphere and the possibility of geothermal energy, which could be used to generate electricity continuously. Both Mars and Titan present unique challenges for colonization. Mars requires advanced life support systems and infrastructure due to its harsh climate, thin atmosphere, and dust storms. Titan, on the other hand, would need sophisticated technology and safe havens to ensure the survival of its inhabitants, given its extreme cold and low gravity. While Mars offers relative proximity to Earth, water resources, and potential for scientific discovery, Titan remains a mysterious frontier for possible life and long-term habitation due to its dense atmosphere, liquid hydrocarbon lakes, and energy reserves. Ultimately, the decision to colonize either planet would depend on specific objectives, technological advancements, and the willingness to adapt to the unique challenges each planet presents. Titan is the largest moon of Saturn, located deep within our solar system, beyond the known planets. It is a unique and exotic celestial body that could potentially serve as a future home for humans due to its icy climate, strange environment, and dense atmosphere full of chemical molecules. 
but what distinguishes Titan and makes it a viable option for supporting life beyond Earth? One of the most fascinating features of Titan is its atmosphere. It is dense and primarily composed of nitrogen, which is remarkably similar to our planet and differs from that of any other moon in our solar system. It also contains a large amount of methane, causing a special chemistry that results in a hazy orange sky when mixed with sunlight. In addition to offering defense against dangerous radiation, this environment contains a precious element that may be mined to support agriculture and maintain a human colony, nitrogen. The liquid covering Titan's surface is another intriguing aspect of the moon. But because the temperature is so low, its lakes, rivers, and even seas are made of liquid ethane and methane instead of water. Big difference. On Titan, the seas and the rain are made not of water, but of methane and ethane. On Earth, those molecules form natural gas. On frigid Titan, they are liquid. Titan has lots of water, but all of it is frozen hard as rock. In fact, the landscape and mountains are made mainly of water ice. At hundreds of degrees below zero, Titan is far too cold for water to ever be liquid. Although terrestrial life cannot survive in these hydrocarbons, they offer a chance for other life forms that could have evolved to survive in such conditions. Investigating these liquid organisms could provide new insights into the possibility of extraterrestrial life. Titan also has a wealth of energy sources. It is a prime prospect for solar power harvesting because of its thick atmosphere and distance from the sun. Furthermore, the existence of hydrocarbon lakes and the possibility of geothermal activity offer more opportunities for sustainable energy production. The surface of Titan is extremely cold, about minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 179 degrees Celsius. To survive, humans would need to use sophisticated technology and safe havens. The low gravity on Titan, around one-seventh that of Earth, would also pose unique problems and opportunities for mobility and exploration. Like any attempt at interplanetary colonization, there are significant challenges to overcome. Due to the great distance from Earth and the hostile environment, significant infrastructure, efficient life support systems, and self-sustaining supplies would be required. For long-term human habitation, technology to exploit and extract resources from the moon's surface and atmosphere would be essential. To sum up, Titan presents an intriguing opportunity for future human colonization. Its energy resources, liquid hydrocarbon lakes, and dense atmosphere offer a unique set of circumstances that would allow life to exist there and support a colony. Even though there are many obstacles to overcome, the attraction of discovering and maybe even residing on this mysterious moon attracts our interest and feeds our natural drive to discover new worlds and push the limits of human existence. Uh, you've also got your plans for Mars. Think about the future, it's just, if, if we're out there exploring stars, it's so much more exciting and inspiring than one where we are forever confined to Earth. And a Mars mission? Yeah, so uh, in order to make Mars work, we, we need kind of the next generation of, of rockets and spacecraft. And we think we've got something that will enable people to move to Mars for approximately half a million dollars. Mars, also known as the Red Planet, has always been a subject of scientific interest and a potential exploratory destination for humans. It has unique features, such as desolate deserts, incredible volcanoes, and historic riverbeds that have aroused curiosity among scientists. What makes Mars a strong contender for supporting extraterrestrial life? Mars has a reasonably solid surface, which makes it easier to build structures and establish a permanent presence. Despite having lower gravity than Earth, humans could still adapt and survive there. Additionally, Mars has abundant resources that can support the establishment of an independent colony. The planet's surface and poles are covered with water ice, which can be used for agriculture, drinking, and the production of rocket fuel. To ensure long-term human habitation, unlocking these resources would be essential. Moreover, 
Mars offers a chance to make scientific discoveries. Understanding the planet's geology and prehistoric past is crucial to comprehend the secrets of our planet and the evolution of the solar system. Exploring Mars provides an opportunity to search for evidence of recent or current microbial life, which could revolutionize our understanding of extraterrestrial life. However, there are significant challenges associated with colonizing Mars. Severe weather and a thin atmosphere present major obstacles that require advanced technologies and infrastructure. The journey to Mars is long and difficult, and regular support and resupply missions would be challenging due to the planet's distance from Earth. We've got a problem. NASA has been literally going around in circles with its space program for the past 30 years. While colonizing Mars is an exciting prospect, it requires careful preparation, significant technological progress, and an awareness of the associated risks. Nonetheless, the desire to explore new places and human curiosity continue to attract people to Mars as a possible second home. Titan and Mars are two potential options for human colonization beyond Earth. However, each planet presents its own unique combination of opportunities and challenges for colonization. Titan is alluring with its mysterious nature and abundance of resources waiting to be explored, while Mars is attractive with its similar characteristics to Earth and scientifically interesting past. Ultimately, the pursuit of building a life beyond Earth requires careful consideration of these diverse ecosystems. Our shared mission to explore and colonize space has the potential to redefine human potential and inspire future generations. Whether we focus on the rust-red deserts of Mars or the celestial landscapes of Titan. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. We'd also love to know your thoughts in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video.